Hey guys, this is Coach Lou, and it is late Friday night. It is about 1.16 in the morning. Uh, I just got done with I will, what I will call an hour and a half long session of bulk chest. Bulk chest is only about 30 minutes long. I did it in an hour and a half, and I, I purposely did that because I wanted to really amp everything. Um, I also did some push-ups on medicine balls at the end, uh, just reminiscent from the P90X two days. I had a lot of fun with this workout, but I think one of the reasons it took me longer was because I did it from memory again. I used the uh, workout sheets, but while I was doing the workout, I had uh, Asylum Speed and Agility playing, and I was watching it as carefully as I could while still being able to give the best of my workout. And um, I'm feeling really good about trying to take the uh, trying to tackle on the asylum after I finish my round of body beasts. Um, I uh, I'm not afraid of asylum. It looks freaking scary. Uh, Sean T is uh, clearly trying to uh, kill everyone in the, in the DVD. <laughs> There's um, people are just really petered out, and he's yelling at them and screaming at them. And you know what? Sometimes that's what it takes to to get past your own fear factor and and go ahead and go forward. Uh, what I find very humorous is that the moves look a lot like what I remember as a kid when I was watching Saturday Night Live and I saw John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd do the Blues Brothers skit for the first time. The whole Dan Aykroyd thing is um, pretty much uh, it's pretty much like watching Speed and Agility with the ladder skills. So for that reason, going back to some things I said in the past concerning humor and how I use humor to motivate me, how I use it to in, invigorate me, to enlighten me, uh, to rejuvenate me, to wake me up. Um, that's what's going to happen now. I, I always take a situation and I turn it around and make it humorous, and that makes me get through it more easily. When I first started doing P90X, uh, I went on the P90X, message, uh, P90X uh, fan page, and one day I made a remark that I was calling plyometrics... Um, I was calling Plyometrics Preschool X. Actually, back then I thought it was called Plyometric X, but I called it Preschool X, and a whole bunch of coaches that were way outranking and outshining me, I wasn't even a coach yet, kind of replied, and they were like, oh, you know, you're going to get your ass whooped someday when you do Insanity, and I eventually went on to Insanity, and yeah, it did whoop my ass, and that's what I wanted. Um, I know sometimes people in the group, are hesitant to take on a program or to take on certain moves because they're scared, uh, because you're afraid that you're gonna you're not gonna be able to do it, that it's very dangerous, um, or that you just can't do it. And you know what? What if you took that? Um, what if you took that fear factor and made that part of the desire to, to do the workout? Um, Ashley in our group. Uh, hey Ashley, uh, you're from uh, Canada. And I know you kind of pop in and out whenever you're able to, but you made a remark that your boyfriend is um, hesitant to do P90X or Insanity. And um, I think you said that he thought they were both extremely difficult. And they are. And that's why they work. They push us. They make us do things that we don't think we're able to do. And for that reason, we get results. For that reason, we lose weight. We get muscular. We get fit. We get toned. We get ripped. Some of us do it in 90 days. Some of us do it in three or four years. It doesn't matter. It happens eventually, as long as you eat right. But the other thing it does is it builds up your self-confidence. Um, you know, I'm a diamond coach, and I've done P90X and P90X2 and Insanity, even though it was a hybrid. And I did um, I did about half of Turbo Fire because I used it as a chaser between some rounds and. Now I'm almost done with Body Beast, and the more programs I do, the more confident I get. And I don't get cocky confident. I just get, I mean like in the in my other activities in life. Um, many of you know that I also practice architecture, and I'm in situations where I have to sometimes, you know, uh, maybe there's like a little chest budding, uh, you know, uh, pecking order thing going on at a project meeting or something or, or uh, at a job site. And I have to have a tone of authority and a tone of confidence. And sometimes I find myself reaching inside myself and saying, you know, if I can do chest press rotations 25 times in five sets of five with 50 to 65 pounds in my hands, or if I can do push-ups on two, maybe four medicine balls, or if I could do, you know, 
insanity, pure cardio. Who says I can't do fill in the blank? And that's what I love about the programs. That's what I love about this lifestyle. It's, it's not just about getting in great shape. It's not just about losing weight. It's about making yourself into something that goes above and beyond what you're capable of doing. There's a, there's a term I learned in college called self-actualization. It's, it's kind of like reaching, being the most you can be, getting to that point where you are the highest of whatever you're capable of being. And the good news is you never really reach that point. You can just keep going. And that's what I want to do. Um, I'm looking forward to things coming down the pipes. I'm looking forward to doing asylum. Um, another coach a long time ago, I should say in the summer, made mention that, you know, if you have weak knees, asylum's going to be um, a tricky program because you'll have to modify it and maybe you're not really doing asylum. And you know what? If I have to modify it and if that's as good as I can do it, screw it. I'm going to still do it. I still want to get it down under my belt. I don't care if I have to modify it. Um, if anything, I'll learn something from it, and someday when somebody has a problem and they really wish they could do asylum, they're going to come to me because I'm going to tell them how you modify it. Uh, sorry if I almost sounded like Morgan Freeman, but um, I just uh, I just want to also tell you guys that you you're great. I love the group. I'm so happy many of you are trying to get these bands. Um, I just need you to understand why they cost two dollars and fifty cents. They um, I bought so many of them, figuring that we would have close to uh, maybe 500 people someday, which is creeping up fast, actually, that they only cost me about 65 cents a piece. So that, plus the cost of postage, is what you're paying for. And the postage comes out to about uh, like a dollar seventy or something like that. Um, it it kind of depends on who I get behind the counter. There's this really pretty woman. <laughs> And she tends to somehow magically make the price lower. I won't go there. Um, anyway, I just wanted to tell everybody, you know, have a great weekend. It's it's almost Saturday morning uh, for our friends around the world, on the other side of the earth in Australia and New Zealand. You're, um, you're, you're kicking in on Saturday afternoon. So I want to say hello. Um, I'm so happy all of you are able to be together in our team. Uh, I feel like we have a 24-7 operation, which is really wonderful. I'm very happy with you guys. Um, I'm even happier Thanksgiving is over because that was a, a real hurdle. But you know what? I had such a good time. I had such a great meal. Uh, two of my nephews are uh, coaches. Uh, Tim became a coach over the last couple of days, which is exciting. And, you know, we're going to work out together over the holidays. We're going to have a great time. Um, really looking forward to what's to come down the line. So, you guys, uh, have a great night. I'm rambling. I'm going to let you go. And don't forget, last thing, we're going to have a crazy Christmas contest. It's going to be 12 Days of Christmas. And I'll give you a clue on what's going to happen in that song, you know, on the 12th day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Every day, something gets added to the song. Well, we're going to do moves like that, and we're going to have um, a grand winner at the end who's going to get some pretty spectacular prize. So keep that in mind. And also, I posted a pic earlier of my uh, scary body beast face, which was kind of like this. And I told you guys, if you post a pic... And don't worry, you don't have to have like graphics or any text or anything, because I know some of you can't do that. You just have to take a pic with your phone. I want your scariest, most horrible monster face. And everybody that puts that picture up in our group between now and Sunday night at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is going to be eligible for a prize. And that prize is a month supply of the Energy and Endurance Formula, which is a lovely lime-tasting little bucket of kick-ass that will wake you up and screw you up, which is what you want. I'm only kidding. It's it it's um, it's the equivalent of two cups of coffee. Uh, you drink it mixed with water. If you're a woman, you can take one scoop. If, uh, if you don't want to go crazy, you can always take one scoop. You can take a one-month supply and stretch it into two, what have you, but you drink it and it'll keep you energized during a workout. It'll contribute to your fat burning, which is really good. So one lucky winner will get that prize, and we're going to have more contests because um, I want you guys to really pay attention. I want you guys to stay connected with the group. 
You, you in turn motivate me. You make it easier for me to decide on a Friday night at about 11.30 p.m. that I ought to work out, which is a great thing. You know, I work crazy hours during the day. People often say, how do you find time for coaching? It's easy, man. It's, it's a labor of love. There's, there's nothing to find time for. Um, obviously, technology makes it very easy to do, but again, I'm branching off. <laughs> Excuse me. You guys have a great night. I love you all, and uh, peace out.